In a world where light dances with shadows and magic breathes life into the forgotten, two sisters embark on a journey that transcends the bonds of reality. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to follow us into realms untold as we present Shadows Over Moonlit Bridges. In the heart of a bustling city, where laughter was the music of the streets and the sun never failed to shine, lived two sisters named Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabi. Their home was a vibrant tapestry of love and magic, a place where every wall told a story of their ancestors' greatness. These stories, rich with the heritage of black American heroes and heroines, were the seeds of adventure that grew in the hearts of the sisters. Goo Goo Girl, the elder by two years, was a beacon of resolve. Her eyes alight with dreams yet to be chased. Her sister, Goo Goo Gabi, with a spirit as free as her untamed curls, shared in these dreams, her laughter a constant echo in their home. Together, they were a force of joy and curiosity, ready to explore the world beyond their city's glow. Their city, a haven of light, owed its brilliance to the moonlit bridges. These ancient structures, woven from the moon's own light, stood as guardians against the darkness that lurked beyond. Legends told by their parents spoke of the bridge's power, instilling in the sisters a deep sense of pride in their community's resilience and ingenuity. One evening, as twilight spread its velvet cloak across the sky, an unusual chill whispered through the streets. The sisters watched in dismay as the moonlit bridge's light began to dim, casting long, creeping shadows where there had once been warmth. Fear gripped their hearts, for the fading light meant the encroaching of darkness, a threat their city had not faced in generations. Resolved to protect their home, and uncover the cause of the weakening light. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby vowed to venture beyond the bridges. Their parents, though anxious, saw the determination in their daughter's eyes, a flame that mirrored the courage of their ancestors. With blessings whispered and hugs tight enough to ward off any darkness, the sisters stepped onto the first moonlit bridge, crossing the threshold into the unknown. The world beyond the bridges was unlike anything the sisters had imagined. Here, the air hummed with unseen magic, and the path was lit only by the faint glow of the moon above. They journeyed through landscapes that seemed to breathe with life, where trees whispered secrets of old, and rivers sang melodies of courage and fear. Each bridge they encountered was a world unto itself, presenting challenges that tested their spirit. Creatures of shadow, born from the darkness, attempted to sow doubt in their hearts with whispers of despair. Yet, with every step, the sisters' bond grew stronger, their resolve hardened by the challenges they faced. Goo Goo Girl's leadership shone brightly, guiding them with a determination that never wavered. Goo Goo Gabby's laughter became a beacon of hope, piercing through the shadows with its light. As they ventured deeper, they encountered a community of beings living in the shadows' embrace, a people forgotten by the City of Light. Here, the sisters learned of the balance between light and darkness, and the importance of unity and understanding. They met a young girl, Amara, who, like them, sought to bridge the worlds of light and dark. Amara's friendship, forged in the shadow of the moonlit bridges, became a testament to the power of empathy and the beauty of diverse bonds. The heart of the darkness held an ancient bridge, its stones crumbling, its light a mere whisper. Here stood the guardian, a creature of shadow and solitude, its form ever-changing. It spoke of loneliness, of being forgotten by those who once promised to remember. The guardian watched over the last crystal of moonlight, the source of the bridge's power, now dimmed by years of neglect. To reclaim the crystal and restore the light, the sisters had to confront not only the guardian, but also the shadows within themselves. They realized that the darkness they battled was a reflection of their own fears, a part of the balance they sought to understand. In showing the Guardian compassion and understanding, they ignited a light within the shadows, a light of hope and connection. With Amara's help, they rekindled the crystal's light, not through force, but through unity and love. The Guardian, moved by their actions, shed its shadowy form, revealing a being of pure light, transformed by the sisters' courage and kindness. The restoration of the crystal's light symbolized a new beginning, not just for the city, but for the bond between light and darkness. The journey back to their city was a triumphant march under the glow of the moonlit bridges, now brighter than ever. The darkness receded, and the city welcomed them with open arms, their story of courage and unity spreading like wildfire. The sisters had not only saved their city, 
but had also woven a new thread into its history, one that spoke of the importance of facing the darkness together, of understanding and embracing the differences that make each individual unique. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby returned as heroes, their names forever etched in the annals of their city's history. But more than the accolades, they cherished the lessons learned on their journey, the strength found in unity, the power of empathy, and the enduring light that shines when hearts are joined in a common cause. Their adventure, Shadows Over Moonlit Bridges, became a beacon of hope and a reminder that even in the darkest times, the light of courage, compassion, and community can guide us home. The city that welcomed Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby upon their return was a light, not just with the restored brilliance of the moonlit bridges, but with the warmth of a community coming together in celebration. The sisters, their hearts brimming with joy and pride, were greeted with music, dance, and stories shared beneath the now eternal glow of the moonlight. Their adventure had become the city's own saga, a testament to courage and the power of love over fear. In the days that followed, the sisters worked alongside Amara and the Guardian, now a revered figure of light, to bridge the gap between their city and the realms beyond the moonlit bridges. They organized gatherings, where beings of light and shadow shared their stories, weaving a tapestry of unity from threads of differences and similarities. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby, inspired by their journey, began to document their tales, filling pages with the lessons of courage, empathy, and the importance of facing one's fears. They envisioned a world where light and darkness coexisted in harmony, where the bridges served not as barriers, but as connections between diverse realms. As the seasons changed, the story of the moonlit bridges transformed the city. Where there was once fear of the unknown, there now stood a curiosity, a willingness to explore and understand the myriad mysteries that lay beyond their borders. The bridges, once symbols of division, became meeting points, places where tales were shared and friendships were forged. The sisters, seeing the change their journey had inspired, decided to embark on new adventures, exploring further than before. Guided by the light of the bridges and the friendships they had formed, they became ambassadors of light, spreading the message of unity and the strength found in embracing one's fears. Their parents, once anxious at the thought of their daughters venturing into the unknown, now stood as their biggest supporters, their home a sanctuary for all who sought warmth and wisdom. The stories of their ancestors, once tales of the past, became lessons for the future, guiding the next generation on their paths of discovery and growth. A year after their return, the city celebrated the first festival of bridges, a commemoration of the night the light was restored, and a celebration of the unity between the worlds of light and darkness. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabi, at the heart of the festivities, watched as their city came alive with colour, music and laughter, a vivid reflection of their journey. The festival became a tradition, a yearly reminder of the power of courage and the importance of facing the darkness, both within and without. It was a time when the city's children dressed as beings of light and shadow, dancing on the bridges that had once separated their worlds, but now united them. Years passed, and the sisters grew into women of wisdom and courage, their names legends among the people of the city. They took on the mantle of guardians, protectors of the moonlit bridges, and the unity they symbolized. Alongside Amara and the Guardian of Light, they formed a council, ensuring that the lessons of the past were not forgotten, that the bridges would always stand as symbols of hope. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby, once young girls dreaming of adventure, had become beacons of light, guiding their city through times of darkness and into an era of understanding and peace. Their story, Shadows Over Moonlit Bridges, was not just a tale of their journey, but a legacy, a promise of light eternal and the enduring power of love and unity. As Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby showed us, even in a world divided by light and shadow, the power of unity and courage can illuminate the darkest paths. If this tale of bravery and sisterhood has inspired you, give us a like, share the magic with your friends, and stay tuned for more heartwarming stories awaiting on the horizon.